South Africa, our racism was very, very clear. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like subtle, there's a gray area. It's like, why can't we go to the beach? Because there's a sign that says no blacks allowed. I don't understand. Do you know what I mean? Very straightforward racism. I like it. Top of the range. Top shelf shit, man. Like, this nonsense that I'm experiencing in London. Oh, I'm not Japanese. I'm from Taiwan. Bah, bah, bah. Listen, I'm... <laughs> I don't live here. I'm confused. Leave me alone. I'm not used to that racism. I'm used to that top range stuff, man. And here's the thing. I don't know how to navigate myself through London because it's so multicultural. I don't know who's going to get offended. I don't know who's, you know, I, I just don't know, you know. But I did find that when it comes to gingers, it's open game. Anyone can, no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. No one, <laughs> no one cares about gingers. Like, you could kill a ginger. You know that, you'd kill a ginger. And you would get to the judge and be like, what happened? I killed the ginger. The judge was like, yeah, but it's a ginger. I mean, what, what do they expect you to do? Not kill them. Kill the ginger. Why would you not kill it? <laughs> I went to Blackpool. It's a piece of shit. Um, yeah, I was in Blackpool, right? And I was doing some shows in Blackpool, and there was a white woman cleaning my room, my hotel room. Now, you must understand, I grew up in apartheid South Africa. I grew up in a very unequal society. So this, for me, was never experienced this in my life. There was a white woman cleaning my... Oh, I was throwing shit on the floor while she was cleaning She was confused. Why would you do that? I said, I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know if this is ever going to happen again. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. So <laughs> I was taking pictures. <laughs> Sending it to the family WhatsApp group. 